Oh hi guys, so you know what we're doing today, right? We're doing chicken curry from Durban. Oh man, it's good chicken curry. So, aren't you excited? Because I'm excited, because right now, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Follow me. Let's go do some chicken curry. Yo, what's up guys? So today we have Durban chicken curry which has onions, potatoes, carrots, broccoli and thyme inside. After that we're gonna have some our garlic inside there. We're gonna have our tomato paste inside there. Some garam masala for some Indian taste right there. Um, we're gonna put some uh, Portuguese chicken spice. Uh, we're gonna put some uh, steak and chop seasoning and some mixed herbs, some dried mixed herbs right there. And then after, after that we're gonna add some curry powder which is medium. And then we move on and then we add our chicken. So come, follow me. So now we're adding coconut oil. Uh, we need two tablespoons of coconut oil because coconut oil is actually healthy. So after that, we're gonna add our onions. That's half an onion that I'm gonna use for today. And then we're gonna let our onions simmer right there and let it get caramelized properly. And then right after that, we're just gonna add our garlic and make it roll together and give us that aroma, that flavor that we need from the chicken curry. So I mix my spices and now I'm gonna add my spice inside the pot. And then I toss some of that thyme inside the pot. I add one teaspoon of garum masala inside. Once I've stirred well, I add my chicken inside and I just stir it around and then I add my chicken stock inside there after that while I finish stirring it around. As you can see that I added my chicken stock right now and then I'm gonna let it just uh, boil up and boil up and boil up and I'll start making it simmer for some time just to make it ease up the boiling system. After a good eight minutes, I add my tomato paste inside, a teaspoon of tomato paste. Add your potatoes inside and stir around and then simmer again. Let it simmer for another five minutes. So it's been a good seven minutes and it's looking good right now. Everything is coming together properly because you know that your spice, you need to make sure that you cook your spice properly and it blends in with everything that's happening inside, right? So now we have our curry that's going on and it's looking so beautiful. And now we're gonna add our final touches to it. So after we have simmered the game, we're just gonna wait and we open it up again and then we're just gonna add our broccoli inside and then we stir that up for a good stir. And when we finish with that, we're just gonna close our pots again and wait for a good two minutes. And then after that, we're gonna open it up again and add some salt. And from our salt, we're just gonna wait for another two minutes. And then we are almost done because we will be putting it on low heat and our juices are gonna be thickening up properly, right? So after that, we're just gonna wait. And then when it's done, just switch up your parts. If you wanna keep it in the same place you wanna keep it by, it's cool. If you just wanna move it aside, it's okay. Everything will be beautiful. As you can see right now, after that two minutes that I said, everything is becoming together. Your veggies are still there, they're still beautiful. And that's my final plating. Alright guys, so if you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe.